Da -da 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 -da. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Marilyn Darling Show. <coughs> and welcome to another episode of What Are We Doing? So today, I'm going to walk you guys through kind of a buyer's guide to for people that like fountain pens. The first website that we're going to go to is eBay. More now than ever, people who are buying fountain pens are buying new unused fountain pens and I'm sure that they're getting a whole lot of joy out of them but here's the thing if you buy from a vintage fountain pen from a YouTube seller a, a, a seller of fountain pens just search in the in the bar vintage fountain pen and you will find all kinds of wonderful buys this one is twenty dollars this is a vintage fountain pen for fourteen ninety nine some of them are relatively cheap others are fairly expensive ooh ooh shiny five dollars or you can bid for it <clears throat> and the bid is five days, eight hours. So I always go buy it now. Or if you know about how to auction or accepts offers, <clears throat> then, you know, see if you can get one of these cool vintage fountain pens. And you will be helping out somebody this winter and nine times out of ten if they know what they're doing and you see pictures you know if they know what they're doing they'll have like a nice setup like this where they'll have really detailed pictures next to measurements and of the nib and see the underside of the nib you'll be able to see <coughs> what what it looks like up close and personal and then if you go down a little bit a little ways you might find a description of what the fountain pen is <clears throat> if it doesn't have a pictures of the nib or the feed or any of that if it just has like a generic picture like like this, then I wouldn't get it. I wouldn't spend my time or money because you don't know what you're getting. So do a little bit of research, go read the description, and if you <clears throat> have a problem with reading the description, there is a Chrome, um, it's called Read Aloud, a text-to-speech voice reader. This is what I use when I don't want to spend my time, my brain power, I just... Vintage We Ever Fountain Pen. Condition is used. Shipped with USPS First Class. And I will have it read it to me. And you can have it set to many speeds. Vintage We Ever Fountain Pen. And... It, it, this is a wonderful... Um, Details about Vintage We Ever Fountain Pen. Read. This is a wonderful um, extension for your web browser. And just go through the, you know, some of these and, and check them out. Uh, this is where I bought my Waterman 12. <clears throat> it's a wonderful pen. I bought it from a, a nice guy named Mick. Or Mike. Hello, Mick. Hiya, Mike. <laughs> And, you know, just take a look around. 
And if you guys want like a vintage flex fountain pen, you can type in vintage flex fountain pen and you will find some very expensive fountain pens. Waterman Vintage 52. And some of them are refurbished and some of them are not. I mean, just check them out. Ask questions. You can write the seller and ask them about things. Which is really helpful. Especially if you're looking to buy a vintage fountain pen. And, and, and be on the lookout for, for Mike's work. He always looks, his always kind of look like this. <laughs> so, if you see any ones that kind of look th like that, say hi, Mike. Marilyn sent me over to your page to check you out. And uh, he has some really awesome fountain pens for sale. So... I don't see any of them currently, but he does have a, a lot of fountain pens. Let's see if we can find Mike. Anyway, well, check out um, eBay first, and then if you can't find any on eBay, the second place that I would go to is the Facebook Marketplace. The Facebook Marketplace might have some vintage fountain pens. Type in vintage fountain pen, see what comes up. You never know, there might be somebody in your area that has a vintage fountain pen that you might like. Also, you can try a uh, Fountain Pen Network, um, the official Fountain Pen Network. There's people on here that are always looking to sell. <clears throat> uh, let's go see if I can find Meg real quick, but. Fountain Pen Network, um, Larry's Fountain Pens. Some of these people might be into selling their fountain pens. Uh, Yaffa Brand Societies into selling their pens. <clears throat> There's a whole bunch. Flex Fountain Pen, Flexi Fountain Pens. There might be some people into trying to sell their fountain pens. So check out Facebook. They might have some too. The next place that you could look for is a small business like Goulet. <coughs> Goulet sells fountain pens. All the fountain pens. All of the new fountain pens. Um, Goulet, Anderson Pens, um, Gold Spot, Van S Pens, um, the Birmingham Pen Company, uh, Federalist Pens. I wish that people wouldn't have pop-ups. It discourages people from coming back. Um, and then uh, Fountain Pen Revolution has really awesome pens. These are more um, the older ones, like the Himalaya and the, the Jayapur. Have some Ebonite feeds, which is good for using with um, shimmer inks, at least in my opinion, because you could just pull the nib feed and wash it out. And 
I've never had a problem. Um, let's see. And then if you want to get into more mainstream, you can do like Goulet or Jet Pens or uh, Ally Express, uh, Alibaba, uh, Diamond Inks, Etsy. Etsy is a, a really good one if you're looking for Pen BBS. Let's see. Let's look for vintage fountain pens. Pen BBS even has vintage fountain pens. So, I mean. These are great. If you want to go more mainstream, you can go Jet Pens. Jet. Gosh dang it. Jet Pens has, um. Has fountain pens. I don't think that they sell vintage, but these are newer fountain pens. If you want to go new, Jet Pens, Goulet, Gold Spot, and Amazon, <clears throat> even eBay has new pens, Alibaba, Ally Express. Birmingham Federalist Pens has new pens. So Hipponoto is has fountain pens, but you know they're they're kind of up there. Hi, oh, I'm sorry. This is Heinz Pens. This guy custom makes pens. So if you have <clears throat> a design in in your mind, you're like, oh, the script section sucks. I, I need something very specific, then maybe this guy can help you out because he makes custom-made pens. I personally like to have a little lip on the end of my pen so that way my, my fingers don't touch, don't slip off and get all inky. So, thinking thoughts about having him make me a pen with a very solid squared off edge. Um, Vaness has fountain pens. Birmingham Pen Company has fountain pens. Let's see. <coughs> Edison fountain pen. Edison has fountain pens that are relatively nice. Uh, they're expensive though, but they have really nice fountain pens. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, pretty. So, check out their pen line, see if there's anything there you like. Me. I want a unicorn barf pen, but I think they're out of stock, so who knows? Um, for ink, you can, if you're looking for a very specific ink, <clears throat> and you have an ink, and you're like, oh, I wish this was a shade, shade lighter, a shade darker, you can go to Search Bright Brand. Or you can go search by specific ink. Say I want <clears throat> an ink that is the same color as J.R. Bond, Kainite Du Nepal. You go and you find Kainite Du Nepal. 1798. And you can look along here and see if there's any of these that you would like. They're also in that same category. And if you click on one of these, you'll find that there's people that have reviews of them. And if you click on the link, it'll take you directly to someone's video or a blog post. Mountain of Ink does blog posts. So you can go to Mountain of Ink and they will tell you all about the ink. 
And of course, if you don't know how to use Google by now, you're a lost cause, and I would advise you to crawl under a rock. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> just Google, you know, an ink and copy, search Google, shopping. If it is available, then it will come up. In the hat. Birmingham Bellflower. Okay, that's Or you might not be able to find one at all. So you just got to kind of go down and find. Anyway, but you can go through and figure this out. We'll use a Robert Oster Soda Pop, for example. If you just search Google for Robert Oster Soda Pop, blue, there it is. And you can go shopping, and then maybe lowest to highest. And there you'll find um, <clears throat> a sample from True Fay for $1.75 and $6 shipping, or you can get a whole 50 ml bottle for $16.80 from Call Pens. You know, whatever you're into. And of course, if you're, if you have the ability to, um, if you don't have the ability to go to a shop, or you don't want it shipped from really far away, you can always search on Amazon to see if they have it. Sometimes you gotta put funny words in to make sure that Google knows what you're talking about. So you gotta put the word ink in there, or pen, or a fountain pen. Robert Oster is not on Amazon? Oh, that's very interesting. Well, at least now we know that Robert Oster is not on Amazon, which is fine. Fine. Whatever. <laughs> JetPens has Robert Oster. Goulet has Robert Oster. Ink. No. No, no. Shop. Ink. QRS Robert Oster. All Robert Oster. I mean, obviously, doesn't have Robert Oster. Okay. Birmingham obviously doesn't have Robert Oster, but you you get the idea. So check out inkswatch.com. <clears throat> See if there's any ones in here that you might like. And sometimes you'll click on one and it'll take you to an, another panel and then you get clicking and you'll notice that the panels start to change color. <clears throat> and 
And sometimes you'll you'll go and you'll go and you'll notice that they get it gets bluer or greener depending on how far you click into it. So you'll see. So here's a list of all the inks that Robert uh, that uh, InkSwatch.com has all of the brands. <clears throat> Click on a brand and scroll down, and here's all the inks that we have so far. If you want to contribute to you, to the channel, you can go up to the very top and click Contact and Contribute, and you can follow the little video here. shows you how to make a swatch card, and then you can scan it into your computer, and then you can send it to Matt at inkswatch.com or you can send your swatch to this address right here. Wow, that was a lot. So, what are you guys doing for uh, for this, for your loved ones for Christmas. As for <clears throat> paper, um, let's see, paper. I definitely recommend Walmart Exceed 100 GSM <clears throat> Heavyweight Paper I definitely recommend the <clears throat> hardcover ruled 100 GSM as lined paper. This one it has dot grid 120 GS 100 GSM bullet journal, a hardcover dotted book dot grid, or a large soft gridded paper which is seven by nine which is very big this one is five by eight which is um a five and this one is also a five slim no something oh this is a five and this is a five slim so it's like point zero five inches smaller. The hard book is A5. <clears throat> Xseed is wonderful. I've been using them for quite some time now. They're just the best. Some of the best paper that I know right now. And um, if you're really into uh, shopping for someone for Christmas, mm -hmm. Get them an and get them a a Walmart Exceed notebook because that's where it's at. Let me tell you. Um, let's see what what else can I promote? Um. I definitely clear um, if you're not going to use like watercolor or anything like that Clairefontaine notebooks are really good they're 
they start out you know as a notebook <laughs> they have all kind of sizes <clears throat> classic A5 staple bound French roll paper they're like they start at two dollars and eighty five cents um, Tomoe River uh, Drum Ghouls has a, a large book for thirty two dollars Jet Pens has a <clears throat> a TN Traveler's Notebook um, Amazon has Tomoe River Thinking thoughts about getting one of these GLP creations, the author Tomoe River notebook, only in the uh, dot grid. They, they come in lined, dot grid, and plain, I think. Plain, yeah. <coughs> and there are $27.99 for. 192 pages so if you really like to pour on the, the watercolor this is definitely where it's at um, come on stupid captcha go away I'm busy Loose sheets, 100 pack for $48. It's not a whole lot. 200 pages for 45. 100 pages for 38. <laughs> So, I mean, they really range all the way from $269 all the way down to $1.50 for a couple of loose, five sheets of loose leaf paper. So... I mean, just check them out. See what kind of... Uh, and then <clears throat> if you have... If you... If you want something that you can stick in a printer, I would definitely suggest... HP Premium 32-pound paper. You can get 500 sheets for ten dollars and twenty cents which is a steal right now because I paid the whole twenty three dollars and ten cents for five hundred sheets the stuff is thick and it works very well it's just awesome and plus if you get it with prime you can get it next day delivery So, I hope that that does help. I hope that you guys are getting ready for the holiday. <clears throat> Hi, Trisha. How are you? Are you having a nice day? Uh, 
Are you ready for the holiday? Surviving the fall, the fallout. Oh, you poor little thing. Oh, I heard that you got COVID. You poor, poor thing. You're so tortured all the time. It never ends. Well, I hope that you feel better soon, because COVID sucks. And don't smoke cigarettes and. Eat your vegetables, even if you don't want to, and don't slice your finger off, and if you need somebody to scream at, just know that I'm around. <laughs> and don't freak out. Everything's going to be fine. You just have to get through it, okay? So, So everybody in the comments, go give Trisha well wishes and tell her get better and tell her that you love her and that she's awesome and that you hope that, that she's going to get through this and I love you Trisha and I hope that you feel better because you're awesome. And, yeah, poor little thing. That's so sparkly, I'm gonna die. So sparkly. Oh, it's my guy.
I can't show <laughs> the freaking sparkly. Well, <clears throat> I hope that made you feel better. So if you guys have any tips or tricks for <clears throat> shopping for someone who likes fountain pens, Well, <clears throat> that is all for today. I want to thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Ring the little bell. Make sure it's set to all so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. I hope that you're having a great day, and we will see you tomorrow for another episode of... I forgot, it's Vlogmas. Vlogmas. So, have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, love you. Bye. Feel better, Trisha.